Young Syrian students in Damascus are protesting against any military action their country could face. Waving the Syrian flag and chanting anti-U.S. slogans, the students show their support for President Bashar al-Assad. A draft U.N. Security Council resolution on Syria's chemical weapons is currently under discussion. The resolution leaves the door open to the use of force if Syria does not comply. One teacher says the aggression will not stand. We will stand firm to our notions and brotherhood. We will fight this aggressive attack and by God, Syria will gain victory with love. Meanwhile, following a meeting with British Prime Minister David Cameron in London, NATO Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen says it is crucial that the possibility of military action remains open. I think it's essential for keeping momentum in the diplomatic and political process that the military option uh, is still uh, on the table. A UN report this week confirmed the use of sarin gas in an August 21st attack in Syria, but did not place blame. NATO, like its Western allies, believes the Syrian government is responsible.